welcome back to my channel, Margaret Knob Designs. I have a yummy haul that I did with Country Craft Creations. Uh, this is not a design team package, it's my own purchase. And there's some sale items in here, as well as uh, some other items that are not sale items. But I wanted to uh, share them with you and show you a couple of things that I've bought. And uh, if you get an opportunity, hop on out to Country Craft Creations and take a look at some of the items out there, especially the flowers. They've got flowers there that from 49 and Market and also from Prima. So let's get into it. And I'm going to shut this off while I get it all out of the package, and then I'll be right back. Okay, crafters, well, I've gotten it out of the big package. There might be some crinkling as we go along here, but most of it I don't believe needs to be opened up. So, But bear with me if there's a little bit of crinkling, just close your ears. So the first thing that I want to show you is this uh, by Buttons Galore. It is an embellishment package, and what it is is it's got buttons in here. It's got some really little um, kind of purpley black and uh, gold uh, seed beads in here with some other gems down here and some sequins over here. So what this is, and, oh, and there's even um, some ribbon here, and there's some... Uh, embellishments, silver embellishments that you can use. And what this is used for is this is for um, embellishing your cards, whether it's shaker cards or um, something else that you want to put um, the embellishments on from the um, buttons to the gems and things like that. But I have a few of these and I just love them. I just like the mixture of it. And of course the Buffalo check, my favorite. I needed to get this one because of that. And even the other thing that I really like in here is the black buttons are a very um, dark black matte finish. So I think that they look really good. Um, I love them. So that's one. And then Hold on just a minute. I got someone grabbing something behind me. It's called a puppy. Hold on. Okay, well, when I mean puppy, I mean my uh, big black one that's about 135 plus pounds. So he was getting into something. He saw that I turned my back and uh, thought he could get into some things. <laughs> but anyways, so the next uh, set that I have here from Buttons Galore is a lot of browns and there's some black. There's some jewels in there, there's some seed beads right in here, and then there's even some uh, metal embellishments in there, and then sequins. I'm not hoping that you can see that. Um, but there's just a lot of nice things. And then there's some ribbon in here with some puppy paws on there. So of course, that's why I had to get this one. But I've also got a blue one in blue colors and green. And I've used the green ones already. The blues I haven't used yet. So. That's for that. And then I picked up a bunch of flowers and they're a mixture of Prima and a mixture of 49 and Market. These are just beautiful. Uh, the pinks in these are, uh, they're just, I don't know, they just make me hungry for like, <laughs> for like, uh, what did they call that? Um, gelatin or, oh, what is that called? I'll think of it. Anyway, so I've got this for, um, actually I'm thinking of using this possibly on my Spring Awakenings collection for um, Country Craft Creations. Uh, I think that might work with that. And then I've got some other um, nice pink ones from uh, 49 and Market. I love these 49 and Market uh, flowers because of how flat they are. And um, I like a, a full flower, but when I'm putting them on an album or an album page, I don't want all that bulk in the middle of my album. So while these, these are not bad because they're not that, that big, there's flat ones in here, but there is bulkier ones, they're, and they're great for on front of the, um, the album, but I don't like them inside the album. I like something that's a little bit flatter. So that's why I just love these 49 and Market flowers. And then I also got that one in yellow. Then I got some of these Prima little ones. I haven't had these in a really long time and I wanted to try them out again to see what I could do or use with them. Maybe even again inside the album for some embellishments I'm thinking about. And then I've got 
two other flowers here. Both are by Prima. This one I got because, again, these flowers were a bit flatter, and I liked the mixture of the colors from the cocoa to the pink and the cream. I thought it all mixed really well. And then we've got this really pretty pink that looks so nice with the gold and the cream and um, just really nice, will be nice on an album. And then this one's a little squished, but um, it's a beige. And it's similar to the other ones that um, I just showed you. So, all right, so that's the flowers. And then um, I wasn't really sure about these or not, and I'm not now looking at them. I'm not 100% sure I love them, but they're by Prima and they are uh, butterflies and they have a like a silver um, finding on it so you could hang them on a bracelet necklace or the back of an album or something. I, I have to look at these and work with them a little bit and see how they look on the album. Just like this, I probably wouldn't have bought them, but you never know until you use it and see what it looks like. And then I got a couple of things that I've been wanting to get for a while. First of all, this um, this is that uh, square. I hope you can see that. This is, let me just take this one out because it's difficult to see. This is the, um, the, kind of the square bone folder. It's just the little one. I wanted to try that out. And then I got a new regular bone folder that has it has a thinner tip to it. I wanted to try that out with the heavier side and the thin side. I have a Teflon bone folder and I think I have misplaced it for, for at least a year. And so that's why I ended up buying the new bone folders. So then a um, couple other things that are interesting, and I thought these are so cool. These are these uh, clamps, or are they called bull, bull clamps or something? Um, whether I use them in a mini album or not, I will use them for just my own um, my own uses. So they are from Prima, and they're called Art Daily Rusty Clips. So I am looking forward to utilizing these clips in a project or even just daily because I think they're pretty cool. And lately I've been really getting into looking at um, doing some kinds of mixed media for um, not necessarily a junk journal, but um, uh, like stamps and um, postcards and doing some jelly um, jelly roll printing and different things like that. So not sure I'm going to start any of that until I get into my new craft room, but because um, I don't have much room here on this desk. And we know how mess messy that stuff can get. So these are these are fun. And if I don't use them right away, I'll keep them in my stash. And then I saw these, um, these are Doodlebug uh, brads. And there's two different sizes here. One is a 20 millimeter, one's an 18 millimeter. And I don't have anything in particular I'm looking to do with them. But I just thought they would be a good stash builder. And one of those things that, gosh, you're looking for something bright yellow for because it has sunflowers on it or bumblebees on it. Um, you know, it'd be nice to have that in my stash to be able to use. So I think I'm going to work on getting the rest of the um, colors and the rest of the sizes uh, so that I can have the small one and the larger ones and put that in my stash. But I thought those were really cute. Oh, and my green ones. I think the green ones would be really nice if you're doing some kind of card or um, layout that has um, some kinds of little bugs or you know like grass on it and maybe you can even take and paint this up so that it looks like a little frog put some little eyes on it or a turtle or something I don't know kind of cute and then I um, got one of these I have some of these but this one had the acorn in it and um, the ones that I had before didn't have the acorn um, I think these are just the colors are amazing so I picked that up they're not usually that expensive. So, and I believe that this um, Welcome Winter was all on sale at the time when I bought it. And so it's not that long ago. This, and I don't have this uh, collection at all. So um, I know it's been out for a while, so I'm not gonna go through every page of the paper um, unless you really, really want me to, but leave a message in the 
in the um, comments below and I will go through it but you can see what the different papers are in the pad or here let me just do a let me do a really clip uh, quick not flip through but just a there we go so I will do this where we'll just do a quick oh, I just think they're lovely and really, the, part of the reason why I got these, and I bought two of them, these were, at the time when I bought them, they were 35% off. Now, I don't know if these were used in the mystery boxes or not, but um, I had grabbed them before they were out of the way. I'll see if they're still in there, and if they are, I will uh, put some links in the uh, box below. And look at these. So these are the adhesive brads. They're really not brads, they're just like adhesive buttons. They used to be brads. And then they've got some chipboard um, items there. And then I also got the puffy stickers. Let me see if, no, it's not on the back. Hopefully you can see that on there. And then I got the frames and tags and the ephemera. So the frames and tags look like this give you a better look of that and the ephemera this is what that looks like hopefully you can get a good picture of that the unfortunate thing is is I don't have another um, another um, screen that I can watch what I'm doing and again when I get into my new craft room that's going to be one of my next steps to be able to do that and then with that collection, what I got is these uh, chipboard frames. And in the chipboard frames, they have chipboard pieces that you can punch out. You could leave them in. There's some smaller frames and smaller chipboard pieces. And I actually got two of those because, again, I wanted to use these for um, some cards and maybe some gifts. And then I bought, um, I think, two of the chipboard accents. These are all on sale. Chipboard phrases, chipboard accents. So let's do this one first. This is a six by 12 of the chipboard accents. And then this one is the chipboard phrases. Hopefully you can see that. This would be even be good for um, putting on, if you did wanted to do the whole thing is putting it on a mini slimline or a slimline card would be great and then when we get into the collections I bought a lot of this paper because I really liked it I also wanted to make I also am looking forward to making um, an album with it so um, this is this is all the solid cardstock that goes with um, welcome winter and there's this green and then there's blue on the back and and this really um, this is a cartabella so you know how great that cardstock feels and then I got this set of colors um, most of them I got I think I got three of each you know kind of like Tamara does in her collections three of each this one is uh, the green or mint and then on the back is the dark green again and then as the, far as the pattern paper goes, I kind of ordered the amount of pages based upon which ones I really liked. So this is the, called Mitten Weather. Oh, and on this, I love this. With the mittens and uh, the greenery coming out, my sister has um, a mitten that she has for decoration at Christmas time that is like that. It's, it's um, I think it's like an old sweater that they used and they shrunk it down and then it um, has the greenery coming out of it. It's just beautiful. And then it's got this great um, whitewashed wood in the back. So then this is another plaid for Welcome Winter. And this is a black and blue plaid, nice basic plaid. And then look at this, great. I love this. This is great. You can cut these out as border strips or you can use them as a whole page. Um, you know, just putting something a little bit more um, quiet on the front 
or next to it. And then this is great with the um, whitewashed, whitewashed walls. Um, really a nice plain paper on the back. I think these are the back of them. Winter Whiteout, it's called. And then look at these. I love these snowflakes. I love the black and white snowflakes. So great for that. Um, and then a great green plaid. Or really a, a buffalo check, I guess it's more, it's closer to. So that's a dark forest green. And then look at this. I see blue snowflakes. I love snowflakes. I love winter. I love snow. I don't really like the icy cold, but I love sitting in the house looking at the snowflakes. <laughs> the other day we had a really light snowfall and it was only like three or four inches and there was times where it was so snowy and just blowing. It was so pretty across the um, yard and some of the houses next to me have some evergreens and it just I thought, where were you at Christmas? <laughs> so this one is called Winter Wonderland, and this is black with the blue snowflakes. And then some trees that say Winter Wonderland. There's some um, pine cones in there as well. And even these strips on this paper, you can use these for uh, border strips if you want to use them for on the pockets or you know a smaller area or a thinner area. There's a lot you can, or even on tags. That would be a good spot to use those as well. And this one, it's called Cozy Cabin. This one surely looks like a snowfall. And then look at this. Isn't this wonderful? Look at that with the evergreens and then the mittens, the mugs, the wreaths, oh, firewood. This is just great. This, this actually reminds me of my cabin up north. We've got a cottage up in Eagle River and it's just beautiful. A nice um, kind of a light color, light blue, icy blue. Looks really nice. And then on the back there is some journaling cards. And hello winter, welcome winter, walking in a winter wonderland, stay home and get cozy. Yes, home and cozy. Warm winter wishes and the world changes when it snows. Oh, that's all beautiful. And then we've got some, it's like a tone on tone um, with, there's some small dots in the back. I'm not sure if you can see that, It's, but it's pretty plain tone on tone. And then on the back, there is a very busy pattern. And so you can cut, cut this apart if you want to make some embellishments out of any of these, or you can even use them for, they'd look nice on, on a pocket and, you know, just cutting it down where kind of the lines are going that work best and um, you know having a quieter paper uh, to top the back of the pocket would really be nice. These are very nice. Great designs. And then this is a green tone on tone. And then on this side they call this frigid flannel. It's almost like the gray here almost looks like um, a violet, but it isn't. Um, and kind of a black blue or blue black and with white and uh, green in there. Very, very nice. And then we've got some stripes, black and white stripes. And we've got journaling cards on this side where there's some different, um, different sizes. Now, you could cut this out separately, or you could cut this out together like that, or this one like that. You can really make it however you would like it. Like, you could use these as little postage stamps, or you could cut this all out together. Um, there's a lot you could do with this. It's a really nice sheet. Of course, I love this chair, all beat and battered, and with the pine cones and the greenery. I love pine cones. And then buffalo check or buffalo plaid is my favorite. Probably bought, yeah, I did. I bought four of those. So I would make sure that if I wanted to use the other side, I had plenty on this on the, on this side. So then comes some uh, three by four uh, cut aparts or four by four, sorry. And uh, great with the trees and the hello winter, warm winter memories. Oh, my mittens. Let's stay in and have some hot cocoa, snow days. Really nice. 
And then I've got a blue, uh, blue kind of tone on tone. This is, it's not really tone on tone. It's probably a, a lighter blue with uh, black or, or dark blue snowflakes. Of course, the snowflakes. And then on this side is a much busier uh, paper. It's frosty, bundle up, icicles, winter wonderland, snow, bundle up. I said that already, didn't I? Frosty, icicles. Then there's some little snowflakes throughout too. Great collection. I love this collection, and I don't know how I didn't see this sooner, but um, then this is the sticker page for uh, that collection, and you can see all of the great stickers that are on here. They're very similar to a lot of the chipboards that we were looking at, and here's the snow fun again uh, can going on a card, and you know, just because they're stickers doesn't mean you can't uh, pop them up or put them on some black cardstock and just to accent them a little bit. Then there's some little stickers in here, a pine cone, a uh, tree. Uh, you can make some nice uh, collages with uh, a few of these items together. So I love them, great. The other thing I like about Cartabella stickers is they are, um, they are uh, very sturdy. They're not, um, like, they're not like ones that you peel off the page and they, they break apart. And then, Oh my goodness, I love card kits. I like making cards, but I love making card kits because I feel like I don't have to think as hard. I have to think a little bit because I have to follow the instructions, but um, I don't. Ha they're not so difficult to, to finish off. So this is the one by Simple Stories. Hope we can see this. It's uh, with 28 chipboard pieces. There's 53 die cuts, bits and pieces. Um, eight card bases and step by step. The one thing about simple stories is you do not get envelopes with them, so you have to provide your own. Um, gosh, this is so difficult to see. Let me see if I can get that. Pull that out real quick. Hopefully, you can see. And this is called Simple Vintage Indigo Garden, and they do have a collection out. That's called Indigo Garden, and I know that I was looking at buying the collection itself, but hopefully you can see how beautiful those cards are. Look at these deep purple navy butterflies and blooms. Really, just beautiful. And these would make really such a nice gift for somebody that you could make these cards, and then if you had some of the collection, make them into a card box or a card kit, and it would be a, just a nice theme. And then I got this one. I kind of vacillated on it a little bit, um, but my daughter has a few friends that are pregnant, and um, so having little ones, so I thought it would be might be fun to get these cards, and then she would have a card, or I would have a card for their showers, baby showers coming up. And um, my niece just had a baby as well, so. Um, can put these in my stash and you can hopefully you can see that it's called boho baby so what's nice about it is that it really could be used for um, little girls or little boys because of the coloring like this one would be really cute for um, a girl you know sweet little you and then this one might be really cute for a boy with those um, coveralls um, I think there's a lot that you could do with this because of the color it's not really a specific male or female, you know, card kit. So I've got that. And then I have this one and I love <laughs> this. I love this kit. It's called Love Grows Here. And um, it's very close to the um, Simple Stories um, Vintage Weathered Garden. Um, but it's not exactly the same, but it is very close to that card kit. So let me pull this one out. It's called Love Grows Here. I'm not sure if this one is still available in the store or not, but there, but last I looked, Simple, uh, Simple, what was it? Vintage, Simple Vintage Garden, I believe, was still in the store. So um, again, I love these card kits. One of the things that I like about them is you see that there's a pattern paper here and pattern paper here and here. 
Well, rather than you having to cut out all those pieces, they just make this card back all in one layer. So this is the way the paper looks. It's with the plaid, the chicken wire, and then the plane. And then you put these other items on the top of it. But the back, if there's a pattern into the back, like even on this one, is this would be paper here, here, and here is all one piece. It's not two pieces. So I think they're pretty easy to do. I've I sat down one night and punched all the pieces out, and then the next night that I was watching TV, I just put all the cards together, all the pieces, and then put them together that night. And um, there, was, there wasn't a lot left over. There were a few pieces left over, and I, I tucked them into my ephemera pieces. And I mean just like this much. There was not much left over, which I like. I like getting more for my money, but I like when I can finish something and not feel like I'm working three months on it to finish it off. So that's very satisfying. So that is my haul for today. Look at all this wonderful stuff. I just love it. Like even if I wanted to add flowers to this, some of these might work. Like the creams or things like that. Beiges. I don't add many uh, flowers to my cards very often, but um, I like these kits. So thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I really, really appreciate it. If you enjoy these videos, please give me a thumbs up and um, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to be able to hear what you have to say about your crafty world and what projects or things you would like to see in the future. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.